I am Meg Ormiston, and I am proud to present this professional development module to you. We will do this in a fun, uh, light way, but you will learn so much in this time that we'll have together. Locating images online using Flickr and Google Images. This module will be about how to find images, uh, what to be careful of, what do tags mean, how to download and how to save, and what images can we use and which ones are copyrighted. So we're going to cover a lot in this module, but we'll take you from um, maybe you don't know Flickr or you've only dabbled with Google Images, and we'll get you, get you all the way through how to go ahead and save images to use in projects. Flickr. This is my favorite site to find images right now. It's Flickr without the E. It is owned by Yahoo now. And you don't have to sign in to access the images. You only have to sign in and create an account if you want to upload your images to Flickr. So Flickr, look right below the picture in the upper left-hand corner. In the last minute alone, 5,282 pictures had been uploaded. That's on that's an average. Sometimes it's 6,000, 7,000 per minute. If something's going on in the world, it goes up even faster. So Flickr is an ever-growing, ever-changing database. Very often Flickr can be blocked at school because it's considered a social networking site. And the social networking part of it is people that have a pro account can come in and comment and question and ask, how do you do this? How did you like that? What time of day was it? Um, what filters did you use in Photoshop? Those kind of questions. But you don't need to worry about that. You're just in here to look for pictures for your project. So first thing you do is click on the search button. Don't put your word in there. Just click on the blue search button. So it takes us to the search. But I don't want you to search here either. I want you to search on, to the right where it says advanced search. On the advanced search is where we're going to make sure that we don't get things that are copyrighted. So here's what the advanced search looks like. Every time you go to do a search for an image, you have to come back here. So this is really important. We don't want images in student or teacher created projects that are copyrighted images. That's illegal. We don't. We want to model good, effective behavior. So, in the top, put in the search that you're looking for. And look at the bottom. The last thing to check off. Only search within Creative Commons licensed content. What this means, Creative Commons in a nutshell, means go ahead, use my image. Put it in your projects. That's fine. But just don't resell it and make money. Okay? So you're going to click on Creative Commons each time you do a search. Now, when we go look at our images, all the ones that are copyrighted should be pulled out, and we only have focus on the ones that we can use. So, with Creative Commons turned on, you can see it right up underneath the search. It says, showing Creative Commons licensed content. That doesn't mean somebody could take a copyrighted image and put it up and say it's not copyrighted. That does happen on occasion, but we've really tried hard to make sure that that doesn't happen here. So there we, we, we searched. I searched under abandoned school, and now we have lots to pick from. Here is a picture. This is outside of Bradfield, Illinois, an abandoned um, school that somebody took and said, hey, go ahead and use my picture. So that picture looks great, but what we want to look at is in the upper, right underneath where it says Flickr, above the picture, there's favorites, actions, and share this. Click on Actions. And when you do that, you want to view all sizes, the first one. You want to see um, what sizes are available. And you always want to pick the largest one that is available. So let's see, what do we have here? Download the large size of this photo. Right there again, we see some rights reserved. And you see the symbols. That means it's licensed under Creative Commons. All right, so we're going to download the large size of that image, and we're going to save it. Look at that saving name right there, 2095825, whoa. When you hit save, you want to rename it, and you want to make sure that you put it in a folder. That crazy combination of letters and numbers will make zero sense, zero sense um, in the future. So you want to make sure that you rename it right as you save it. Okay, that's Flickr. Now let's talk about Google Images. Now Google Images, I like, except for I don't like their um, it, more, more 
Even when you search under Creative Commons, more stuff seems to get in that's copyrighted. But let's try it. Uh, Google Images, go over to the right, Advanced Image Search. Click on that. And now again, you're going to put whatever you're searching for in the, in the top or in the up in the blue. And then down, there's Usage Rights. Look at the Usage Rights and you want to pick the right one. It's automatically not filtered by license. You want to labeled for reuse and modification is the one that you want. So again, each time you search, you gotta come back here and do this and then go ahead and put your word in there and see what you get. So this is interesting. It's, I did abandoned school and now we get different images uh, because they're, they're different databases of images. But here we have over six million abandoned schools in a very short amount of time. So let's take a look. Once we go into one, we can see Christopher's has been licensed under Creative Commons. That's the CC. And so you don't never want to take the small image here in Flickr or in Google Images. Never take the small one. You always want to make it larger and then right click and save image as. Okay, really important. A lot of people make the mistake here to take the small one. A lot of people also, by mistake, go up wherever this page was that this picture was. They don't do the right click. They save the page. You don't want to do that because then you, all you'll have is links back to web pages. Then you have to go and redo it all again. So right click, save image as. Okay. Now you can see right there it says labeled for reuse with modifications. There's our same abandoned house. So it says go ahead. Now look, it dropped our number dramatically from down, down to 1,000 plus. So labeled for reuse. So the one that we had here must not have been labeled for reuse. I must have not clicked the button. So there's 6 million, but labeled for reuse we're down to 1,000. So you're, you, you don't have as much to pick from, but you're safer using it this way. All right, that was just a walkthrough on how to use both Flickr and Google Images. There's many other places to get images, especially if you um, need historic images. Library of Congress is a great place, the National Archives. There's many places to go, but I wanted to showcase these two because of the filtering option just to give us the Creative Commons. Thanks, hope you enjoyed it.